Do you have a hernia and you want to know if you can row? Well, let's chat about it. So there's actually eight different types of hernias, and that's not even including sports hernias, which technically aren't hernias, but hernias are basically an organ pushing through muscles and tissues and creating a bulge, often in the abdomen or the groin. And depending on uh, the severity, you may or may not feel symptoms. Uh, some people are completely asymptomatic, other people, and they might just notice a bulge. Other people have a lot of pain. And that pain can switch up between different activities, different movements, uh, or even just different positions. Some might make you feel better, some might make you feel worse. It is important to note that most commonly with hernias, you end up needing a surgical repair. So that's another aspect that you have to consider when you're getting back to your sports uh, or your rowing or whatever activity it is, because if you just had surgery, they cut into you, they went through tissues. You have that recovery as well as uh, the muscles that, went, that the hernia went through and the areas that they were cutting through that we really need to work on getting structurally stable again and find positions that don't cause pain. So even though there are eight different types of hernias, the most common type, which makes up about 75% of hernias, is an inguinal hernia, which basically means that the organ or bowel area protruded through the lower abdominal wall pretty much in your groin area, kind of like where the front of your hip is. But you're not here to learn about a hernia. You have one. So can you get back to rowing? Uh, the answer is yes, but it's really important for you to pay attention to your pain levels. So really working on things that uh, strengthen your core muscles, but not by overly strengthening them, uh, really structurally supporting the abdominal muscles in a slow, controlled manner is what you're looking for. And there are certain exercises that you can do to do that, uh, but it's really about getting this muscle called your transverse abdominis, uh, which is basically like your body's natural corset. You want that muscle to be nice and strong and stabilizing and, and really working since it was likely protruded through or cut through. One of the things that you need to avoid is pain. A lot of pain in that area when you get back to your activity. So I want you to think of a pain scale from zero to 10. Zero is you're perfectly fine, you're good, you're happy and healthy. 10 is send me to the hospital, I am dying. Uh, figure out where you are naturally when you're not in those painful positions. And I want you to hopefully be between the two to three out of 10 when you're doing these activities. If it starts to crawl up while you're rowing or after you finish rowing or activity, then it was likely too much for you. So what's really helpful is once you've done these abdominal exercises, you've started working on the base structural core, uh, what we're trying to avoid is excess internal pressure in our abdomen. And we get that from like crunches or V-ups or um, exercises that really intensely make us use our core. Whereas rowing uses our core but not to that extreme and not in a super pressured position. However, there is a position on the rowing machine that could aggravate it more that I'm gonna show you. So the position that's most likely to cause discomfort is your catch position. When our leg and our trunk are brought together, which could increase any pressure, uh, not just from like our core and our muscles working, but from literally compressing these two spots together. So if that's the case, what I want you to do while you're rowing, is don't go as far up into the catch uh, and stop whenever you feel like it is too much or it's increasing your pressure. If that for you means that you also need to not necessarily lean as far forward and you wanna be a little bit more upright, that's gonna enable you to go a little bit farther and you're gonna decrease the hip hinge to basically decrease how much lean we're getting, which means you're gonna be able to possibly get farther with your knee bent. Another thing that you can actually do is lowering your foot plate down lower. And this, if I go like as low as I can, this is going to change the angle at my knee and my hip. So even if I am in this forward position, it takes longer for me to get as much of that compression here which would allow you to still be able to get your hip hinge if that's not something you wanna change uh, and be able to get some positive range through that stroke. Now, 
The next spot where you could find some aggravation is at the finish position. If you're at the finish and you feel like a giant pull, then don't go as far back. So you need to do your lean back to where you don't feel a giant pull here um, so that we're not overstretching those tissues. And especially if you just had surgery, we don't want to open any incisions. And ideally you're actually not rowing till the incisions are closed um, and that scar is fully healed or majority healed. Um, so really keeping that in mind as well will help, but we don't want those tissues to be on an extreme constantly over and over again in and out of the motion or that will start to aggravate you. So those are the main adaptations that I'd recommend for on the rowing machine. When it comes to exercises that you can do to help, uh, I recommend transverse abdominis and I've got a video that I'll put in the description below for that. Um, and I would recommend a hip flexor stretch, which I'm also gonna put in a video uh, link in the description for you. So really the key for this is listening to your body, not going into too much pain, uh, and really finding out if you're having pain while you're rowing or right when you get off, you might've pushed yourself too much. So please ease into it. It is an okay activity to do as long as you are in a, for the most part, pain-free range or something that's not exacerbating the pain that you already have. So if this was helpful, please hit that thumbs up. Uh, helps me know that I'm giving content that you guys like. Uh, not only that, please let me know if you've got any questions and happy rowing and wishing you a speedy recovery.